Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. We've got an egg cutting. It is our last ball python clutch of the year. Uh, Brave Stone is the male. He is a Mojave yellow belly desert ghost. And the female was Cindy Luhu. She is a pastel GHI het desert ghost. Uh, so we could have pretty awesome babies in here. Now, our last desert ghost combo clutch tricked me. Uh, we did get the super epic combos we thought we did. One of them, however, was not a visual. It ended up being a hat. That happens with Desert Ghost. So uh, I'm not going to give you guaranteed genetics here on this, but I'll give you my best guess. Because, man, Hat Desert Ghost can really look like visuals. And honestly, sometimes visuals can look like hats. So I'm just going to see how this goes. I don't think that's a visual. He's got a very skinny head. You know, I had a clutch earlier this year that had very skinny heads at first, but then after like a couple meals, they looked normal. I wonder if there's just like muscles along the side or something that don't uh, develop immediately sometimes or something. I don't really know because I thought, oh, I'm just going to have a whole clutch of skinny heads, but then they look totally normal now. So, Egg number one. Ooh, ooh, ooh there's something. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I see... Hmm, pastel... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I see. <laughs> um, I don't know. Pastel... I don't know. Golly. It looks cool, whatever it is. I can't, I have no idea, guys, honestly, if it's a visual, if it's a het, what else is in there, but it's not just a pastel. I know that, but I also know there is pastel. So that's the best I've got for you on that snake. There's definitely pastel and something else, okay? Oh, I did nick a vein there. The snake will be completely fine, but if you see a little bit of blood, that's, that's why. It's not a vein on the snake. Um, it was one of the veins that lines the inside of the shell. So the snake did not feel anything. The snake is fine. Just wanted to clarify that since there's a little bit of blood here. Okay, I see Mojave right off the bat. Okay. I think Mojave... Oh, boy. And Yellow Belly... That might be a visual desert ghost, too. I think we have a Mojave yellow belly desert ghost. I don't think I see past... Hmm, I don't think I see pastel, but we'll know when the head pops out for sure. In most combos, pastels have a very obvious bright head stamp. I think that's a visual desert ghost, though. I think that one's not. I think that one is. Look how clean this one is compared to this one. That one's still beautiful. Um, and if it's not a visual, I'm not sure what is making it look that way, but uh, either way, I think that one that I did second is a, a visual desert ghost. Okay. Oh, what have we here? Oh, oh, oh. That's funky. What in the world am I seeing? I see just his tail. And it's super pale? Uh, it's gotta be a desert ghost. It's gotta be a visual. I think that's gonna be a pastel Mojave desert ghost. Maybe even yellow belly. So just missing GHI. So short on GHI so far, unfortunately. That's too bad. All right, now this little skinny headed guy. Let's see what we can see in there. Come here, buddy. Mm. Now you guys remember earlier in the year, maybe you don't, <laughs> but I talked about using Reptichip as a incubation substrate and I'd done it for all these ball python clutches and then I've kind of decided I don't like it because there's just, just some like powder mildew in there. And so far it hasn't seemed to hurt any of my babies, but uh, I'm not super stoked about it. So I'm not going to probably do that anymore. One as uh, don't know what this is either. Gosh, guys, I'm sorry. I, I'm not uh, not nailing these IDs right out of the egg, unfortunately. So this little skinny guy is a ball python. 
It's a Mojave. That's all I can tell you for sure, though. It's a little Mojave. Still no GHIs. I hope we get some. I really wanted to see the GHI Mojave Desert Ghost. That, I guess, would be my, my number one hope for the... Oh, I see GHI right off the bat. Do not believe I see Desert Ghost, though. Although I could be wrong. Oh my. Oh my. You know, I think I I think that is a GHI oh Mojave my. Desert Ghost right there. I think that is the animal that we were Oh and look, you could I could have almost told you through the little window there. <laughs> little patch of eggshell that didn't quite calcify right. I think that is it. I do. Uh, my confidence is pretty low because Desert Ghost is so hard as, as hatchlings. But uh, very unique looking baby there. And we're going to shed test this guy. Because Yellow Belly and Desert Ghost have shed tests at least. Um, and obviously I don't need the GHI one because that's obvious. Uh, wow. I think that is a GHI Mojave Desert Ghost. So... Uh, Holy cow, guys, that is a snake right there. Don't care if it's male or female, that one is staying here. Wow. And it could very well be yellow belly, too. I don't think it's pastel, but I think that might be everything else. That, wow. That is a fantastic snake, if I'm right. Uh, genetically speaking. All snakes are fantastic. So that was exciting. I see another GHI. And it is... Oh my. I don't believe that's a visual. It looks a little dirtier than that one. Um, maybe Pastel is in there? I think it is. I think that's going to be like the mom. Unless Yellow Belly's in there too. You know, Yellow Belly's subtle enough and I suck at it enough. <laughs> but it's at least a Pastel GHI like the mom. Possibly yellow belly as well. Hat for Desert Ghost. Lovely. It's interesting how on some of these I feel pretty confident on the ID, and on some of them I have absolutely no clue. And we have... Last snake is a Mojave. I think that's also a desert ghost. Just Mojave desert ghost. So I like the dad, except no yellow belly, I think. Yeah, that would be my guess. It was a Mojave desert ghost. Seven babies, and I think we got one, two, three... No idea. No idea. <laughs> so, three visuals, I think. And one of them is really, really, really exciting. Kind of the animal that we put this pairing together to produce. I think I'm looking at it right now. So, uh, that is the, the gem of the clutch. But really, they all are, are fantastic. Um, hopefully, we have a video here shortly of them all shed out you know, here in a couple weeks. But uh, that is all for now, guys. I am stoked to see these guys out and shed. That helps with identifying desert ghosts. And it also helps once they have eaten several times. Their true color kind of comes in, you know. They're several months old at that point. Uh, they've eaten, they've shed, and all that. So that will really be the, the point where I can more confidently say what they are. I'll also send in some sheds probably for testing. But uh, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. We're the Reptile Barn.